Hey, Jules Bless Vegan, and welcome to day 21 of our 100-day countdown to the best version of ourselves in the new year. As always, I'm thrilled you're here. Who can believe just three more weeks till the new year? But again, even when we get to the new year, it's the first day of the rest of our lives, right? <laughs> and we only have today. So how are you today? Dare you say? I titled this Lonely and What to Do About It. Because so many people are genuinely lonely. And, you know, I've always suffered from clinical depression. And I think in another video, I even mentioned that um, I was diagnosed with manic depression from a very early age, you know, age 23. And even at 23, I'd already been self-medicating with alcohol and stuff since I was like 13. Um, so it was certainly before that. And it kind of runs in my family on both sides. But anyway, um, praise God, today I'm on no medication and I'm highly functioning. Uh, but that's part of what was the detriment of my kidneys because I'd been on lithium for 20 years, which I thought was a tremendous blessing. And I will never regret that. But unfortunately, they were also giving me 800 milligram Motrin for horrific periods, and the Motrin was doubling the lithium on my kidneys. <clears throat> so both my kidneys were shot. But of course, God in his mercy has healed those too. <laughs> so I'll take it. Anyway, though, the reason I bring that up is because I know what it's like to be lonely. I'm one of those people with a smile on my face and class clown uh, every year of school and class president at the same time. And isn't she so amazing? Feeling completely alone in a room of a thousand people, feeling completely isolated and alone. And like no one even knows it except for me. I'm like dying inside and putting on that happy face. And so... um. What I think loneliness stems from are two things. One, we're totally in this artificial, um, you know, online social media community where people only give snippets of their perfect life. They take a thousand photos before they post that exact one. <laughs> Side note, I think you guys know that these are a one-shot thing with no corrections and no filter. Um, but, you know, I, I just do the best I can. So you're getting the true self. But because of the snippets, because of the perfectionism that people are presenting, so many people feel lonely because they just don't feel like they can compare. They can't compete with that in their own little life. And we need the reality of knowing that that just isn't an authentic self. And the other thing is regarding authentic self is people needing to share their true self, even in the brokenness of it. I mean, until Jesus comes again, until the world is renewed, we're all broken. We all fall short of God's perfect, you know, well, he gives perfect grace, but we all fall short. So where are you? And can you find a place where you feel safe enough to present your brokenness and to know that you're enough? You know, just by virtue of being created, just by virtue of being on the planet, um, just by virtue of being here and taking another breath, um, you're here. You're a blessing. You're a gift. You're enough. So if you could tap into that to find other people who are like-minded, find people who have the same interests you are, and dare to risk sharing your authentic self even in the less in perfect form, even in the brokenness of simply being human and some people more broken, but at times, I mean, today I don't do any alcohol. I don't do any medication. If I'm hurting, I do an ice pack or um, a heating pad. But at one time I was a pill gourmet. I'm not even kidding you. I tried various pills just for fun to see if I'd wake up the next day. I mean, honestly, I, I've walked through darkness for years at a time and always been incredibly blessed also and loved by many very kind and patient people. And, you know, I've been several personalities. I mean, people even joke the girl's multiple. <laughs> you know what? I am a multiple personality, and I'm grateful for that in the sense that it has allowed me to survive very difficult situations, physical abuse, being raped. Um, you know, I mean, the list goes on and on, but because I can compartmentalize, because I can keep those things in their place and know that they're not my truth in this moment, I am free, my friends. I am completely free. You know, people can say or do whatever they want, but I know my truth and I walk in my truth. Um, so there's nothing more freeing than that. Well, you're not afraid you're going to be discovered. Discovered? Who has power over me? Nobody. 
Well, people only have power over you if you give it. So are you lonely? It's probably because you're not being true to who you are. You're not sharing your authentic self. You're not sharing your imperfections. You're not taking the risk. This channel is for risk taking, okay? Come on, put it down there. Put in the comments, where are you at? Who are you? How broken are you? Or how fabulous and amazing you are. We'd love to hear that too. <laughs> like, come on, share here so that you can get free. And so that you can dare to not feel lonely and isolated, but feel like even if these people are in a virtual world and you may never even get to hug them in person, they're there for you. You know, we're here for you. All right, that's my lecture of the day, peeps. My goodness. Tell it on the mountain, girlfriend. <laughs> I know, but for some reason that came to mind today. I see little kids in my class sometimes, and you can tell they're so lonely. Um, they're surrounded by people, but they're alone in their heart. And I just encourage them to share their brokenness. And once they start crying and share their brokenness, they got a pep in their step and they are happy to go. So let's put a pep back in your step, okay? We have three weeks. Can you own up to who you are? Can you take the risk? We're here for you, okay? In the meantime, know that I'm praying for you. As always, I am so stoked that we're on this venture together. If you're new, you're right on time. And as always, my friends, be blessed. <laughs>